Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Patrick Liu. I'm the Taiwanese guitar man, but if you... Oh! Sorry. Sorry for talking in my normal person's voice, but... Just... This guy doesn't really need an introduction, but I guess I should do it just to be humble. Because I do have my humble side, despite how angry I get and easily carried away and rattled up I get sometimes, but... My Patrick Liu... As far as the social media goes, you know me as someone who is in a one-man band, plays a lot of hard rock music, writes all my songs, and plays guitar, bass, produce my own music at home, and put it up on social media sites like Reverb Nation, Facebook, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all that kind of stuff. But as far as you know, if you have been, have been following me lately on social media, that I am a television enthusiast, particularly the technology of television, you know, and my knowledge of digital television and stuff like that since then has gotten so broad, you know, like, I, I, I but you know, I am a television enthusiast, basically, aside from being a primitive rock and roll musician in my spare time, and... One of my, and those are like basically my passions in life, other than maybe Giants baseball, go Giants, make it to the 2015 World Series, and pro wrestling. I'm a, you know, I'm a big WWE fan. I've been watching WWE since probably when I was probably since when I was in kindergarten. It was around the time Hulk Hogan was feuding with Earthquake. If you remember those two guys, well, you remember Hulk Hogan, obviously, but going back. Today, in this video blog, I'm going to review to you and talk about let me get this, right here. this, basically, this baby right here, hold on, get a better close-up of it, an Antennas Direct Clearstream C2V Outdoor Television Antenna, and, you know, if, if you basically followed me in previous videos, you, you heard me talk about my brand new Sharp television set, all these, and the Mohu Leaf antenna, you know, as much as I love Mohu Leaf's indoor antennas, I personally didn't really like their Mohu Channels device, which is basically a streaming media set-top player that combines over-the-air television, or over-the-air digital television with streaming, I didn't really like it that much, because you know, it was, the, the two devices I've got in the mail were basically faulty. The ones that were delivered to me by FedEx were faulty, and I didn't really know how to operate them. They were very cumbersome to use, or they were just basically didn't even work, period, or live up to its hype, you know. But this antenna right here is this Antennas Direct C2V Clearstream. You know, I've always been a supporter for Antennas Direct television antenna products and accessories. I even landed an endorsement with those guys like last year when Patrick Luban recorded the song Cut the Cord, which is a self-explanatory song about the cord cutting movement and spreading the love of over-the-air television in the United States. But recently I've been appointed as an ambassador of Antennas Direct, so I get to do some cool stuff with those guys as like an internship kind of job, you know. And about this antenna... Before I get into that, I had previously owned several antennas or television antennas in the past, mostly indoor antennas. When I cut the cord for the first time in early 2013, I was using this Rabbit Ears Radio Shack indoor antenna I found in the basement. Didn't really work very well. Was it, it didn't really work very well. I thought it was a very flimsy product and the signal keeps cutting in and out every time I, I, I watch TV in my room. Especially even if I like jump hop onto my bed and just take a nap while the TV's rolling and it's on while I'm watching maybe Steve Wilkos or any other show. The antenna was always it was not reliable. It was like really the reception was bad, and the signal was, like, really hard to adjust. I had a, other indoor antennas since then, particularly Mohu Leaf, which I think is really good for a 35-mile radius. But I would say Antennas Direct, especially the Clearstream antennas, are one of the most well-designed television antennas in the market today. In the television technology market in 
the states and Canada. And it's really cool because, you know, it, they're very easy to assemble. And these guys know their shit when it comes to TV antennas and over the air television. These guys are no joke. These guys are no chumps when it comes to these television antennas and how passionate they are about the cord cutting movement and digital television in the states and Canada. And about this television antenna, well, the quality of it, I live on top of a hill in Crocker Amazon neighborhood in San Francisco. I'm fairly close to the broadcasting towers, which is the Sutro Towers on Twin Peaks, near where I went to middle school. Not a really good school, but don't look back on what look back on it with fond memories. I live at least probably at least a good four miles from that from the broadcasting towers near my house, and I and I live on a small hill in Crocker Amazon between the border of Daly City and San Francisco, and you know, I this outdoor antenna was technically supposed to be set on the roof of my house, but my brother basically. You know, didn't want me installing it on the roof, so I, I decided to just put it near a window in my bedroom for my 32-inch TV. And, you know, I do have a Comcast cable service in my big screen TV in my living room, which my mom just gave me just not too long ago. But I'm not the one paying for it. I seldom watch cable channels unless they're showing Giants Baseball, Wrestling, American Horror Story... Those crappy mindless entertainment shows on MTV, stuff like that, you know. But TV was if you don't if you don't really know the history of television, television was always free. It never fully went away. If, if you were if if you were from my mom or dad's generation, if you, they basically watched television for free back in the, growing up in the fifties and sixties. Either with a rabbit ears antenna on top of their like RCA console, or on the or those big funky looking antennas on top of their roof, and TV was always free. But then cable came took over in the seventies and eighties, and basically people started paying for cable and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna lie, if you are if you grew up in the nineties like I did, which is my generation, you of course you were. Fondly remember the cable television shows on Nickelodeon like Clarissa Explains It All, Doug, Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy. You know, and at, and people don't really know this for sure in, in, as far as the history of television. The main reason why people subscribed to cable initially was not because the niche channels like Nickelodeon, MTV, ESPN, CNN, all that kind of stuff, or HBO. It's because it was the only way to get a clear signal on the broadcast networks. You know, and at the time, cable provided the best picture and sound for a good amount of years before the digital television transition in the states in two thousand nine, and we and basically since then, it's been it's been at least what twenty years since my generation grew, sat in front of their TV sets on Saturday mornings watching Doug Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy, and of course. The quality of cable has, as far as picture quality goes, the, the picture quality, if you really, if you subscribe to cable or satellite, I'm not sure if any of you guys noticed this, but the picture is very compressed, like very compressed, like very grainy, a lot of noise and distortion on the picture, and it's really degrades and downscales the picture quality while watching your, watching TV or whatever channel it is. The reason for that is because cable companies like to, Combine all the channels on their service, your phone connect, your phone line, whether you still use a landline phone, and your in high speed internet connection coming down from one cable or one wire from your house. That's why a lot of the channels you watch on cable are so crappy in terms of picture quality. Sound is no problem, but the picture quality is just really like crappy, you know? Like, you know, thankfully, which we didn't expect at the time. The digital television transition in 2009 didn't only give us better picture and quality and sound, and believe it or not, free HD TV. You heard me, free high definition television in 1080p or 1080i. And it's not just that 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 improved when it, when it came to digital over the air television after the sweat the switch off from analog, 
we got more programming choices on our local channels. Like, you know, think something called multicasting. So we get like all these digital sub channels showing, you know, like anything from women's interest to classic to, to classic throwback syndicated TV shows from back in the day to movies, maybe kids shows here and there, and also some other things like life and health style, comedy, game now and game shows and stuff like that, which is all fairly new because the television, the digital television stuff is very new still in the states. Depending what market you live you live in, in in the United States or whatever whatever you live in, you will get access to a a, ver a a wide variety of different kinds of programming, and you could just binge on them for endless hours when you're not looking for the latest movie to watch on Netflix through a Roku streaming stick or something like that, you know. So, but but going back, but going with this antenna right here. Hi guys! Yay! But going back to this antenna right here, I live in San Francisco and I live within a, I live pretty close to the Sutro Towers, which is the main broadcasting tower for all the local, all the San Francisco channels in the Bay Area. I actually live in the sixth largest television market in the United States and New York and LA is one and two. So since then, since the transition to di te the digital television, I get about... You know, if I if I set my antenna properly, well, since I couldn't install it in the roof, I had to leave it behind a glass window in my bedroom. And if if, if I'm getting and since there is a fifty percent signal reduction by putting my placing my Clearstream C two V antenna indoors, so I I am missing a few channels because I'm not aiming because I'm not aiming directly at the towers, which ensures the best results possible. So if you're if you want if you buy one of these. Outdoor television antennas. I really suggest you put it on the roof, actually, to get the best results in your, as far as your reception, the signals to all your local stations and over-the-air digital television channels. You know, and in, I actually with this outdoor C2V, I actually get on a, on a on a really good day where there's no there, there's nothing blocking the signal, no interference with what such as. Like putting it indoors and all these walls and insulation and stuff like that blocking the reception and and signal from coming from the towers, I can get a good amount about 48 over the air channels in San Francisco, and for the most part, these channels come in very crystal clear. I've rarely had any problems with most of the channels as far as signal goes. I get a clear stream of data. Like the ta like the name of the antenna itself, I get a clear stream of data such as video and sound through my TV while I was watching these local channels or all these over-the-air digital television channels. The only the only digital television channel I really seem to have really bad reception on is twenty six point one through where it ends actually, because you know in digital television. It's no longer just channel 26. It's also it's 26.1, 26.2, because you know the whole multicasting thing gives us more programming choices for over-the-air digital television. I seem to get really sh bad signal and reception on those on those channels alone. Maybe I could like use an, uh, one of the Antennas Direct's product like Juice to amp, which is like a amplifier to boost up the signals for all your lo all your local TV stations. Through your, what you're getting through your TV on a coaxial input, but that's like the only channel, and those are the only sub channels and sub channels in general that I tend to get really lower signals and reception on in this bedroom where the antenna is set up, actually. And um, but yeah, I I get like 48 channels, which is pretty damn good actually. And right now I had to rescan the TV because there's been more over-the-air networks brand new coming into the San Francisco area, such as Decades, which is on channel 5.2, 5 which is like a throwback syndicated TV show channel where they show TV sh like sitcoms, dramas, and other variety of shows from the 50s to 90s on a certain day. It hasn't launched yet. It's still on its beta mode, really, or it's pre-launched currently. And there's like a new TV channel coming on 
Channel 2.3, which is, they show nothing but exclusively classic game shows like Wheel of Fortune, maybe those like dating shows you might have seen growing up in the 90s and other stuff. And there's also some other ch channels that that, 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 that that arrived in the San Francisco mar TV market since then, you know, and that's why, I, a, a tip for all you TV people who rely on antennas, always remember to adjust your antenna, whether it's outdoor or indoor, and get it, get a, get a position right, then you can rescan the channels. You know, TV antennas are basically a line of sight signal. There is no magic antenna that's going to get you everything in your area. It, it really depends on your broadcast, where, how far you are from broadcasting towers and uh, and other things like if there's mountains or hills or trees or other obstructions blocking the way. It's a line of sight signal, so sometimes you'll be lucky to get a lot of channels and sometimes you might even lose a few when you rescan your TV because the signal is not coming in properly, you know, but, but I'm pretty satisfied with this Clearstream C2V antenna, actually, I got it during, for 10 bucks, actually, from Antennas Direct, when they were doing this 4th of July special deal online through their store for former Aerial customers, I never subscribed to Aerial, but I was still able to cop me this outdoor TV antenna before it was too late, which I'm very lucky and very fortunate to even have in this bedroom right now. It's all set up because, you know, those those antennas would cost you a, a, around 150 bucks if you buy it on Antenna Direct's website or a Best Buy or something like that. But hey, I'll show you this antenna actually. I'm just putting up my laptop now. Whoa! Jesus Christ. But here... I'll show you an example of my TV right now. It's right here. It's, yeah, it's still loading up. There's the Sharp logo. It's, 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 it looks like this basically, you know, crystal clear, 1080p on my channels, and I'm gonna show you the antenna right here, babe, right here, honey. This, oops, gotta hit it for a little bit. It's just right around the corner. That's where my Clearstream C2V is sitting down right now. And it's a it, it really surprised me that over-the-air television has gotten so much better over the last few years and stuff like that. Because we remember the, the times of rabbit ears and stuff like that. And remember how it was hard to get a signal on your TV set and stuff like that, you know. I have to turn off the TV. And all this other stuff that's in the way, you know. Back, I mean, back in the 90s, if you if you use like those, back in the days of analog television, you would probably only get your major networks, PBS, and maybe a few independent stations here and there. But now in San Francisco, we have a variety of programming in our area since we're the sixth largest TV market in the United States. And we total up to at least probably approximately, or get a good estimate, 53 over-the-air digital television channels in our area. And you might not get every single channel through this antenna. It really depends on how how well you adjust it while you're setting it up on the roof and all these other factors, like how far you are from broadcasting towers, if there's any mountains or any obstructions that's blocking this line of sight signal. You know, I think the digital television thing has made television a lot better. You know, like we don't. I mean, who needs cable, man? Like I'm, I know there's a lot of cool stuff on cable, like sports and cartoons and stuff like that. Or maybe your trashy reality shows on MTV, but I would never, even if I have twenty thousand dollars in my savings account, pay a hundred twenty-three dollars a month for any cable or satellite TV service at my house because less TV, less is more, you know. And I'm really fond of the how the over-the-air digital television has gotten since it transitioned in two thousand nine. I'm very happy about it, you know. And it's, it caught me by surprise because. I, I mean, I remember the old days at Rabbit Ears. Now television has gotten so much better since then, you know. And and with what 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 other new technologies in television, such as streaming and smart TV and stuff like that, you know, we could catch up on your, our favorite cable shows without cable and stuff like that, and the latest movies on Netflix and Hulu. So you're getting what you're getting through Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime for a fraction of our price. 
on these streaming services, whether you're using a Roku streaming stick, an Apple TV, an Amazon Fire TV, or anything else, you know, it's the whole digital television thing drastically and improved television and made it a whole lot better because, you know, it, as much as I hate the Dodgers and LA and stuff like that, you know, LA sports teams, they uh, surprise, and you, you wouldn't believe that they actually get 130 digital over the air television channels and stuff like that. All, just through using this, just through using this antenna, actually, you know, it's it's it's, it's crazy because I pay. Well, I'm, I'm not paying for the cable service at my house. If I lived on my own with my what future wife and kid in a different house, I'm definitely not going to subscribe to cable or satellite. You know, I would just have the internet at home. Just of course, because it's, it's a necessity we probably do need in the future, but. 120 to 130 channels in Los Angeles is how many channels we're paying for on cable today, you know, except we're getting them for free, and a lot of them are in full high definition, picture and sound, 1080p, you know, it's, it's fucking amazing, you know, I mean, just, just how far television has gotten, especially the free television, since, like, the invention of TV from Phil Farnsworth and David Sarnoff from RCA, like, almost 90 years ago, you know, and it's and you also see the music music video and there's also something interesting about the over the air television like there, you know how back in the back in the day MTV and VH1 used to play music 24 seven now they don't do that as much anymore and now there's some over the air television channels on TV or free TV that show music videos of a certain genre like Korean music videos or country or Latin American stuff you know it's it's interesting you know because a lot of this multicasting kind of stuff kind of basically made over-the-air television kind of like cable in the early days with all these niche channels, like all this specialty programming, you know. It's it's interesting, and I think it's going to get even a lot better by the year 2020, you know. But hey, this was a really good antenna. I'm not going to lie about that. This was one of the best outdoor TV antennas I've ever used, and it's one of the best on the television technology market today. I think this antenna... Is, is is really good when kept getting clear signals from all the TV stations from the broadcasting towers in my area. The picture quality comes in crisp and clear and sharp and very nice on my television set. This 32-inch sharp TV right here. It also... I also have less problems with, with, with this television antenna than previous indoor TV antennas from Mohu and all those other brands. That I had in the past, you know, and I really think Antennas Direct does live up to their hype as, you know, one of the best television antenna manufacturers in the United States and Canada, and um, and uh, and there's no doubt about that whatsoever. But hey, I, I'm, I hope, I'm this is just my review of the whole Antennas Direct Clearstream C2V, and I'm the, I'm their ambassador, actually. So if you want to hit me up for any questions regarding Tell their products or anything else, you could always feel free to send me a message or leave me a comment on this YouTube video. So, but I'm just gonna watch my over the air television right now because it's gotten so much fucking better since like the, over the last 10 years, thanks to this baby right here. And I'm about to head on head to bed in a bit, so. I'll catch you guys on the flip side, and don't forget to check out my band on Facebook and all those other social media sites, because I, other than my te my passion for television technology, I do play, I am a rock musician, and sometimes even an actor, you know, Asian American kind of actor, so you guys have a good night, I'll see you guys later. Keep TV free as it's meant to be, and over the air digital television is is gonna come back and take over the airwaves.